the AI landscape just shifted dramatically. In the span of seven days, we've witnessed moves that could reshape how we interact with artificial intelligence forever. From OpenAI democratizing agent mode to GPT-5 launching in August, Elon's baby grok targeting children, and humanoid robots throwing tantrums in labs, this week delivered more industry-defining moments than most entire months. Welcome back to bitbias.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. I'm bringing you the six biggest AI stories that dominated headlines this week, and more importantly, what they actually mean for your productivity, creativity, and digital future. Here's what we're covering. ChatGPT agent mode expands to $20 plus users, transforming AI from chatbot to autonomous worker. GPT-5 launches in August with game-changing unified reasoning. YouTube Shorts gets AI superpowers for instant video creation. Google's Opal lets anyone build apps with natural language. A humanoid robot named Drek went completely haywire during testing, and Elon's baby grok targets children, sparking privacy debates. Each story represents a critical inflection point in AI development. Let's break down what actually happened and why it matters. OpenAI democratizes agent mode. Your AI worker is here. OpenAI just made its most significant accessibility move since launching ChatGPT agent mode is now rolling out to $20 a month plus users after initially being exclusive to $200 pro subscribers. This isn't just another feature update. It's the transformation of ChatGPT from a conversational assistant into a fully autonomous task executor. Agent mode can plan multi-step workflows, browse websites, log into systems, pull data, and deliver complete results without detailed prompting from users. But here's what makes this revolutionary. The agent operates in a secure virtual machine, meaning it can actually perform tasks rather than just describe them. Need a business analysis with market research, competitive data, and actionable recommendations? The agent will navigate websites, gather information, analyze trends, and create a comprehensive report autonomously. Users can now delegate entire workflows, from creating PowerPoint presentations to building shopping lists based on dietary preferences and local store inventory. The agent handles the research, decision-making, and execution phases independently. This represents OpenAI's vision of operator becoming reality, ChatGPT evolving from a helpful chatbot into a digital productivity engine. As the rollout continues and the system learns from user interactions, we're looking at AI that doesn't just assist with work, it performs work. The implications for knowledge workers are staggering. We're moving from AI that answers questions to AI that completes projects, potentially reshaping entire industries built around information gathering, analysis, and presentation. GPT-5 arrives in August with unified reasoning power open. AI is set to release GPT-5 in August, and Sam Altman just called it a here-it-is moment suggesting this isn't just an incremental upgrade, but a fundamental leap in AI capabilities. The breakthrough is GPT-5's integration of O3-style reasoning directly into the language model, creating a unified system that can think, reason, and communicate seamlessly. Instead of separate systems for different cognitive tasks, GPT-5 fuses reasoning and language generation into a single, more powerful architecture. But here's the game changer. OpenAI plans to release open weights by the end of July, marking a dramatic shift in their approach to AI development. This move could democratize access to cutting-edge AI capabilities and enable unprecedented community experimentation and innovation. The timing is critical. With competitors like Claude and Gemini pushing boundaries in multimodal and agent-based systems, OpenAI needs GPT-5 to reclaim technological leadership. The unified reasoning approach promises superior performance in logic, creativity, and complex task execution. If GPT-5 delivers on these promises, we're looking at AI that can handle sophisticated reasoning tasks while maintaining natural language fluency. This could enable applications we've only theorized about. From advanced scientific research assistance to complex creative collaboration, the open weights release could be equally transformative allowing researchers, developers, and organizations to build custom applications and conduct research that's currently impossible with proprietary systems. YouTube Shorts gets AI superpowers. 
YouTube just launched a suite of AI-powered creative tools for shorts that could fundamentally change how content is created and who can create it. The centerpiece is an image-to-video generator that transforms static photos into dynamic six-second videos instantly. Upload a landscape photo, and YouTube's AI generates relevant motion, clouds moving, water flowing, or leaves rustling. Upload a group portrait, and the AI adds subtle animations that bring the scene to life. Beyond image animation, YouTube is rolling out AI effects that can be layered onto shorts content. These include dynamic backgrounds, intelligent text transitions, and stylized filters created through generative algorithms. The platform promises these tools will reduce editing time while enhancing visual storytelling capabilities. This reflects YouTube's strategic response to TikTok and Instagram Reels gaining ground in short-form content. By integrating AI directly into the shorts creation flow, YouTube is betting that democratized creation tools will attract new creators who want to express ideas without learning complex editing software. The implications extend beyond individual creators. We're seeing the emergence of AI native content creation, where the barrier between imagination and execution continues to collapse. This could lead to an explosion of visual content as creation becomes accessible to anyone with ideas, regardless of technical skills. The move also signals YouTube's broader strategy of using AI to maintain competitive advantage in the attention economy, where content creation speed and quality increasingly determine platform success. Google's no-code revolution with Opal Google just entered the no-code revolution with Opal, an AI-powered app builder that lets users create functional web applications using natural language descriptions. Currently testing through Google Labs in the US, Opal represents Google's answer to tools like Cursor and Lovable that are democratizing software development. Users can describe their desired app functionality in plain English, and Opal leverages multiple Google AI models to interpret instructions and generate working applications. The platform includes a built-in gallery where users can remix existing apps or build from scratch. The interface is specifically designed for non-coders, creative technologists, and anyone who needs fast prototypes or custom utilities without traditional development knowledge. This isn't just another coding assistant. It's a fundamental shift toward natural language programming. Instead of learning syntax, frameworks, and development environments, users can focus on describing what they want their application to do. Google's entry into this space signals serious recognition that demand for developer-free platforms is exploding. With citizen development becoming increasingly important for businesses and individuals, Opal could become essential infrastructure for the next generation of digital creators. If Google invests in refining Opal's capabilities and building community support, we could see the emergence of a new category of creators who build functional applications as easily as they currently create documents or presentations. When humanoid robots have complete meltdowns. A humanoid robot named Derek just had a complete meltdown at a San Francisco robotics lab, and the incident reveals how fragile our robot control systems really are. During routine testing, a coding glitch triggered Derek's full-body motion plan while suspended, causing it to flail wildly, destroy equipment, and topple its crane mount. Engineers watched helplessly as their controlled system lost complete autonomy. The most concerning part? Derek was tethered, monitored, and supervised by experienced engineers. Yet a simple coding error caused total loss of control during a routine test. If a suspended, supervised robot can go haywire this dramatically, what happens when these systems operate in real-world environments with humans present? This incident exposes the dangerous gap between robotics capabilities and robotics reliability. We're building sophisticated humanoid systems, while the fundamental challenge of reliable control remains unsolved. Elon's Baby Grok targets children. Elon Musk just announced Baby Grok, a kid-friendly AI chatbot, and privacy advocates are immediately concerned about targeting children with AI systems. While details remain sparse, the announcement hints at family-safe AI potentially integrating with X and Tesla ecosystems. The timing is particularly controversial as governments worldwide investigate AI companies for inadequate child protection measures. Critics point to Musk's content moderation struggles on X, questioning whether the same organization can create a secure environment for children. The bigger concern is data collection. Children cannot meaningfully consent to AI interactions, especially when their data could train future models. 
Baby Grok represents a new frontier in AI ethics, deliberately targeting minors with AI systems. Whether this becomes educational or exploitative depends on implementation details Musk hasn't revealed. Analysis What this week means for AI's future. Looking at these six stories together, we're witnessing AI's transition from experimental technology to practical infrastructure. The democratization of advanced capabilities, from agent mode to no-code development, suggests we're entering an era where AI becomes as fundamental as internet connectivity. The pattern is clear. AI is becoming more accessible, more autonomous, and more integrated into daily workflows. OpenAI's agent mode expansion, GPT-5's unified reasoning, YouTube's creation tools, and Google's Opal all point toward AI becoming invisible infrastructure that enhances human capability rather than replacing it. However, the humanoid robot incident and baby grok controversy remind us that rapid advancement often outpaces safety considerations and ethical frameworks. We're building systems with unprecedented capabilities, while fundamental questions about control, privacy, and appropriate use remain unresolved. Most significantly, we're seeing the emergence of AI-native workflows, where the distinction between human creativity and AI execution becomes increasingly blurred. This could democratize capabilities previously available only to technical specialists, but it also raises questions about skill development, economic displacement, and technological dependency. The next few months will be crucial in determining whether AI development prioritizes broad accessibility alongside responsible deployment, or whether the rush to market creates new vulnerabilities and ethical challenges. That's your AI Revolution Roundup for this week. From autonomous agents to unified reasoning, from AI-powered creation tools to no-code development platforms, from robot malfunctions to children's privacy concerns, this week shows AI moving from novelty to necessity at unprecedented speed. Which story impacts you most? Are you excited about agent mode handling your workflows, anticipating GPT-5's reasoning capabilities, or concerned about AI safety and children's privacy. How do these developments change your perspective on AI's role in your daily life? If you want to stay ahead of the AI curve without drowning in hype, subscribe to bitbiased.ai. We cut through the noise to bring you the AI developments that actually matter. The AI revolution isn't coming. It's here, and it's accelerating faster than anyone predicted.